It has been 55 days and counting since Sasha Banks and Naomi placed their women's tag team title belts on Johnny Ace's desk and walked out of Monday Night Raw. And there is still no confirmation that either woman has been released by the company, but there was an update this week from PW Insider that they are no longer considered active members of the WWE roster. Both of them were removed from the company's internal roster listing, even though their public profiles, I think, are still up on WWE.com. But that doesn't necessarily mean anything. But two signs that Sasha, at least, may have gotten her release are that there have been rumblings that she may be doing some signings this fall outside of WWE. And also, she has been removed as a profile icon option for Peacock subscribers. You know, before you had the option of Roman Reigns, Sasha Banks, and Asuka. Now they only have, the the only WWE options now are Roman Reigns and Asuka. I don't use either one of them. On Peacock, you could pick a whole bunch of them. I have Michael Myers as mine. (laughs) Once they added Halloween Kills to Peacock, they put up a a profile icon for Michael Myers. That that's my photo. But Sasha Banks is gone. You know, WWE has been taking steps to erase both women from existence, especially Sasha. The Peacock thing, that's just the latest uh, little minor thing. But it's it's been reported that Sasha's lawyers have been working to secure her release. God, when I say that, that makes it sound like she's uh, being held hostage in some foreign country. But Andrew Zarian of the Mat Men podcast said the same thing, that as recently as late last week, they were trying to get her out of her contract. Naomi leaving would surprise me. I said that the other day. If if we come to find out that both women are gone, including Naomi, that would surprise me more than Sasha leaving. But Naomi did post an interesting message on her Instagram yesterday that got people talking. She said, uh, it's a quote that she posted, the moment you put a stop to people taking advantage of you and disrespecting you, is when they define you as difficult, selfish, or crazy. Manipulators hate boundaries. That doesn't sound like somebody who plans on sticking around. But who knows? It could also be something else that's going on in her personal life. I mean, who knows? Anytime someone posts these cryptic messages, everybody tries to decode it. It literally could mean anything. But it is interesting because the rumor, if you remember, was that Naomi had a couple of months left on her current contract and she had been in negotiations on a new deal when all of this drama went down back in May. Well, that was in May. Here we are two months later. It's July. If that rumor was true, we're right around the time that her deal would would be coming up for expiration. So I definitely think there's smoke to the fire when it comes to Naomi leaving. Sasha Banks is as good as gone. If she isn't already released, then she's as good as gone. If she wants to keep wrestling, and she will, I know a lot of people are wondering, maybe she won't even do wrestling anymore. You can't go higher than the main event of WrestleMania. What else is she going to do? She's going to get into movies and TV shows, and she did The Mandalorian. Everyone talks about The Mandalorian. What else has she done? (laughs) Let's cool our jets and pump the brakes a little bit on assuming that she's got some TV career just waiting for her. Maybe she does. But that's literally the only major thing outside of WWE that she's done. And uh, I don't even know, did they even bring her back for another season? I don't, I don't think they did. But she will absolutely wrestle again. There is not a chance in hell she wants her career to end like this. So she will be back in the ring. And if she's going to be back in the ring and she gets her release, there's only one other place that makes sense. And that is AEW. Could she work some matches in Japan? Yes, of course she could. But she is not going to sign a contract with a Japanese promotion. She is not going to sign a a contract with an Impact Wrestling. If she wants to be on television, and she wants to make comparable money, the only person that she should be talking to is Tony Khan. I know she's already following him on social media. Tony Khan is the only person that she needs to be talking to. And she can be a difference maker in that AEW women's division but only to the extent that Tony Khan allows her to be. It all comes down to the booking. It always comes down to the booking. The AEW women's division, the presentation of the division, it's still very much a work in progress. They have names like Thunder Rosa and Tony Storm and Britt Baker. They signed Athena. They have Chris Statlander. They're giving the God push to Jade Cargill, who could be a gigantic star. 
But Sasha Banks would be Tony Khan's biggest female signing. And honestly, not only would Sasha Banks be his biggest female signing, Sasha Banks would be one of his biggest signings, period. I'm not saying I would put her above CM Punk and Brian Danielson, but on a list where you put names like Punk and Danielson and Adam Cole, Sasha Banks is going to be up there somewhere in that mix on that list. She would be a major signing for this company. This is a woman who is not just another WWE signing. This is a woman who headlined a WrestleMania. This woman is a star. She could be a license to print money just with merchandising alone. Once she is free, Tony Khan better have her on speed dial. Now, I still question, this is the issue I raised when she first walked out. I was I was saying this exact thing. I question how happy that she would be if, let's say, in six months after signing... She's in the position that someone like Ruby Soho is in right now. I can't imagine she would be too thrilled about that. There's always the risk that she does to Tony Khan what she did to Vince McMahon. But I think it's a risk that is worth taking. I think as long as he is honest about how he plans to use her, and he uses her to give that division a real boost and you know more airtime or whatever it might be, because she does have that cachet of having been on WWE television for so many years and and. We, we know she's got a huge fan base. We, we would see very quickly how big that fan base really is and how loyal they are to her. But if they can use her in that way, when I say that she could be a game changer for that division, I'm well aware of the fact that they have signed a lot of women and, and here we are and it doesn't feel like a whole lot has changed. I, I watch the shows. You don't have to tell me. I, I'm aware of that. But when I say that about Sasha... That's the kind of thing that I'm talking about. It's not just about her getting a push. It's about what she could mean to the rest of the, of the company, the rest of the division, and how it's used, and how much airtime they get. If Tony Khan can sign Sasha Banks, she gets more TV time. It makes the other women want to step up their game, too, and it could lead to more opportunities for them as well. And you know what? The more I think about this, because I, I do feel like Naomi is kind of getting slighted in all this. Sasha is the bigger star than Naomi is. I'm sorry, you know, Naomi stands. That's just the way it is. Sasha has has been, you know, you look at her body of work and some of the things that she has done in her time in WWE, uh, even going back to how she was used in NXT, she's always been a bigger star than Naomi. But the more that I think about this, if Naomi does leave, if they if they let her go, or again, if her contract expires and she just sort of quietly goes away, and it's not just Sasha that leaves, but Naomi also gets to leave the company... I would consider bringing them both in and debuting them together. And the long-term play for, for Sasha Banks is not to be in a team or a duo, but it was a very big story when they walked out. And kind of like the MJF thing, which was a very big deal when that happened, there's a lot of interest and a lot of people talking about that, it has died down a little bit because they've been out of sight, out of mind. Nobody knows what the hell's going on with MJF. And we still don't know what the official status is for Sasha and Naomi. So they've been gone for two months or almost two months now. Things have died down a little bit, but it was still a big deal. And people are still wondering, where are they going to land? What's going to happen with Sasha Banks? What's going to happen with Naomi? The, the the fans are well aware of what's going on. I would have them, you know, walk out there on Dynamite together. There's Mercedes and Trinity. You debut them the way the WCW would have debuted them back in the day. I'm not saying they're Hall and Nash. But, you know, kind of a similar thing where maybe they just show up unannounced on a live Dynamite one night, tickets in their hands, sitting in the front row. They don't say a word. They're just there to watch the show. That's one way you could get people talking. You'll notice, by the way, I have to point this out too. All the talk about doing a tournament to crown a new women's uh, new women's tag team champions right after the two of them walked out and Michael Cole on SmackDown make that announcement. That was two months ago almost. There has not been a peep about the women's tag team belts in almost two months. Or this this uh, phantom tournament that they spoke of. Nor have they made the effort to establish or call up any new teams. You would think in preparation for such a thing, they would start actually building some real women's teams. They have done none of that. They have done none of that. Which is just, it just goes to show you the WWE doesn't give a fuck about the women's tag team titles, nor did they ever really give a fuck about the women's tag team titles, which is how we ended up in this mess in the first place. So here's what I say. 
put them in a glass case, and one day we can all tell our kids that those were the belts that the jumping bomb angels once held. And we can just pretend that this era never even happened.